you are a liar, 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 pants on fire. Okay, uh, here we have Jim Rottenberg, Rottenberg of uh, New York Times. And Trump is testing norms of objectivity in journalism. What objectivity? Right there, right there, we can dismiss this article as being utter BS. If you're a working journalist and believe that Trump is a demagogue clinging to the nation's worst racist and nationalistic tendencies, that he closes up to anti American dictators and he would be dangerous with control of the United States nuclear codes, how the heck are you supposed to cover? Well, you can believe what you want, but you're supposed to treat the candidates the same and just look at them objectively. I don't care what you think, Mr. Ruttenberg. Because if you believe all these things, you have to throw out textbook. American journalism has been giving from the better part, given, using from the better part of half past century if not longer that is a lie and approach it in a different way you never approached anything in your career you sons of bitches have not been anywhere near objective you're always for communists so that is a lie mr ruttenberg you view trump presidency as something that's potentially dangerous then your reporting is going to reflect that. No. If you were a journalist, you would just report what Trump is saying and analyze it. You're calling him dangerous. That is slander. I hope he sues you, bat. If he loses the election, I hope he sues you, bastards, for every penny you have. The question everyone is grappling with, do normal standards apply? If they don't, what should take their place? Yeah, you need to have standards, but you don't. You are a communist. Covering Mr. Trump as an abnormal and potentially dangerous candidate is more than just shock to the journalistic system. That is a lie. You, sir, are a pathological liar on top of everything else. Threatens to throw the advantage to his news com conference averse opponent, Hillary Clinton, who should draw plenty of more tough-minded coverage herself. She proves again last week with her assertion on Fox News Sunday, James Comey, director of the FBI, and declared her to be truthful in her answers about her decision for official State Department business, a grossly misleading interpretation of an FBI report that pointed out various falsehoods in her explanations. And more broadly, it upsets the balance the idealistic form of journalism with a capital J we've been Trained to always strive for. Uh, Mr. Ruttenberg, you are not anywhere near being ob objective. This is what we're saying. When I went to the Trump rally, Mr. Ruttenberg, here in uh, Western New York, Rochester, uh, Donald the people booed the media the loudest. They didn't even boo Obama the loudest. They booed the media the loudest. The media were sitting up there on their platform, and they were not amused. And it just goes on and on calling it Trump a national security risk. This is ridiculous. This is a communist. He uh, hates freedom. He hates 
this country. In the meantime, what Trump has been doing, from what I understand, he's putting out his tax plan, which is cut taxes, doing away with the death tax. He's filling his positions, should he win, with people who understand economics. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, at least get this country off life support and get it back to some functioning situation where <laughs> we have a good economy. Right now we're on life support, basically. Mr. Ruttenberg, you are not a journalist as far as I'm concerned. You're a disgrace. So is the New York Times. And most of the mainstream media. You're supposed to report the news and report what people say, yes. You're not sit there you are not supposed to sit there and in judgment of a candidate like this. You disgust me. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.